Hi everyone, Tom Wolf here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this ambient digital style pad in Yuhi Zebra. Okay, so as you can hear, we've got this kind of really washy ambient pad, uh, lots of reverb to it, and it's got this quite, you know, unmistakable uh, digital quality to it, kind of a glassy type sound. So this is a patch from my latest set, Translucid, uh, which is 100 ambient style cinematic presets for Yuhi Zebra, and this particular patch is called Seabed. So let's have a look at how I created it. Okay, so I've taken apart the patch, so now we can have a look at how I made this. So firstly, we're gonna start with oscillator one. And you can see in oscillator one, we've got it stacked as 11. So this means that we've got 11 of the oscillators stacked on each other, which is what's giving it this kind of really warm quality to it. Um, we've got the oscillator one set to the tri-saw wave, which is set to the first point in the wave so we're just getting this triangle wave here um, we've also got the detune set to 2.5 so this basically allows us to detune the stacked oscillators against each other so it gives us quite a warm kind of sound So we've got this kind of quite static uh, triangle wave, um, but because we've got so many oscillators stacked together and the detune uh, set on them, we've actually got a kind of quite warm sound there already. So then we're gonna look at oscillator two. So we'll activate that. And on oscillator two, you see we've got it stacked to 11 again, and we've got a slight bit of detune again, this time minus three. So we're actually detuning them the other way. So the two oscillators are actually gonna be detuned against each other as well. And on oscillator two, you can see we've got this sine tree wave, um, which is this kind of really interesting sort of sine wave sound. If we mute oscillator one, got this really digital quality to it. So that's quite an interesting sound we have there. So we're then blending that in with oscillator one. And we have an almost kind of analog buzz to it, but then this second oscillator is creating this really clean, sort of digital glassy sound. So let's also have a look at what we've got the envelope that's uh, controlling the amplitude set to. So because it's a pad, we've got quite a long attack. We've got a medium decay and, you know, quite a high sustain. So it is going to kind of decay a little bit. It's going to peak and then drop down slightly in the volume. Um, and then we've also got a fairly long release time. Um, and we are controlling the velocity slightly here as well. So, you know, the harder we play the louder the patch is going to be, which is what you want with a pad, really. So then let's switch on VCF1. So VCF1, we've got set to a low pass X site. Uh, we've got the cutoff set to about a third of the way up. Um, we've got no resonance on this at all. We've got no drive on it, so we're keeping it quite clean. Um, we've got a little bit of key follow, so we're going to keep the quality of the filters across the keyboard. And then we've got this set up to be controlled by envelope two. So on envelope two, again, we've got a relatively long attack time. We've got a very long decay time and, you know, the sustain is down just a little bit. Um, and then we've got quite a long release as well. And again, this is being uh, controlled by our velocity. So the harder we play our keys, uh, the brighter the sound is actually going to be. So if we play it softly, we're going to get quite a dark sound. So then this lane is coming out to our main output, but we've also, as you can see here, we've got a second lane. So let's unmute this and let's turn on comb one. So comb one is being routed from the input one. So that means 
after sound comes out of our VCF, it's going straight to our output on lane one, but it's also coming across the comb filter on lane two. Now with our comb filter, we've got it set to split dual mode and we don't need to worry about the pre-fill type because we're not using the pre-fill. Uh, we've got the input set to about halfway. So uh, without the input, we wouldn't get any sound here. So that is just kind of controlling what we're hearing from the input point, which is lane one. We've then got the feedback turned up just a little bit as well. Um, and we've got the flavor turned up a bit. And then you can see that we've got our tone control here, which is being modulated by LFO G one so over here on lfo g1 we've got the waveform set to a random glide we've got the sync set to one bar and then yeah basically this is just going to be kind of randomizing the tone of the comb filter which is going to give us this kind of washy sound on it so if we mute out the main lane you can hear we're getting this kind of glassy comb filtering quite a different sound to our main lane which is really kind of quite high quality but this comb filter is just giving us a little bit of a sweeping quality to the patch and it's quite kind of lo-fi and thin sounding as well which is nice so then because we don't want it to be too bright i also wanted to kind of uh, stunt this a little bit so we've got vcf2 set up here as well and you'll notice we've pretty much got the exact same settings as we did with vcf1 so we're filtering in vcf1 bring it into the comb filter and then filtering it again so we're kind of doubling up on that filter but what that's going to do is it's just going to give it that kind of like you know um dark warm quality to it it's going to stunt the sound a little bit but because we're adding the comb filter um for that kind of like washy um sweeping quality this is just going to kind of bring that out a little bit just kind of takes the edge off that comb there. Okay, so now let's bring back in lane one and we'll play both of those lanes together. So we're almost at our patch already. So as you can see, this isn't a particularly complicated one, but it's a really cool sounding preset and it just works so great for ambient kind of stuff. Um, we've now got the blend of this kind of quite, um, it's an almost analogy type sound with the triangle wave. And then we've got our kind of digital sign that's coming in with oscillator two. We've then got that blending with our comb filter, which is giving us that kind of sweeping glassy uh digital quality to this patch so now we're going to look at our effects as well so over here on our global we've got mod effects one okay so that's set to chorus so that's just kind of warming up our sound again we've then got a delay so switch that on and you'll see we've got it set to stereo 2 mode and we've got the left hand channel set to an eighth note and the right hand channel set to a quarter note we've got quite a bit of feedback and a bit of the feedback crossover um, and then we've just got a little bit of filtering here as well go just a delicate bit of delay on the end there and then we've got our new reverb which i love this reverb it's just so big and ambient sounding so we've got the pre-delay set all the way to off we've got the dampening really really low and the decay incredibly high and then we've got the size just a little bit over halfway as well no tone control on this and the width is set to 75 and then we've got quite a high wet mix as well so that's set to 34.5 so let's have a listen to that now there we are 
dark so we've got that really beautiful washy reverb sound that's coming off the end of this patch now which is what helps it to you know just sound really ambient and beautiful um and the combination of the chorus the delay and the reverb are all kind of working together just to give the patch this ambient quality like it, it's quite an ambient sounding patch anyway with the digital quality and this the comb filtering that all gives it quite a delicate ambient quality anyway but these effects are just kind of working together to really boost that and to just make it this really washy lovely kind of pad sound so the last thing we're going to look at is the uh, modulation that we have on our mod wheel which is simple enough so we have on our mod wheel here so we have lfo g2 controlling our master output and on lfo g2 we've got it set up to a sine wave and we've got it set to an eighth note as well so this is basically going to give us a tremolo effect which is something i find works really well on pads because then you can um, blend between this full pad type sound and adding a little bit of rhythm and a little bit of character which when you kind of sweep between the two uh, while you're playing can just give it a really interesting way of you know keeping the sound fresh so let's hear that there we go just a delicate bit of tremolo So that was how I created the patch Seabed. I hope you found this tutorial useful and you enjoy creating this preset. Um, thank you for watching the video. If you want to check out Seabed and some of the other patches from Translucid, you can find a link to the product page in the description. Also, you'll find a link there to sign up to get free sound design tutorials straight to your inbox every week. So every week I'm just creating new tutorials like this where either I create a patch or I go through one of my favorite synths and talk about a certain part of that synth that you can use to design your own sounds. And if you sign up to receive them to your inbox, you'll make sure that you don't miss anything so you can really up your sound design game. Okay, thank you for watching the video and until next time, take care.